So, another thing then. Mm -hmm. FOMO and PvP gear. So this is a topic that we saw come up this week that we thought was kind of interesting. Yes. Right, uh, so there's the Elite PvP sets, which, you know, look pretty cool. They're like the PvP equivalent of the Mythic uh, raid set, right? Just, you know, in terms of appearance, it's like the most cool, lush, premium uh, sort of look. Oh, I shouldn't have said the word premium. Don't get any ideas, please. <laughs> um, but, you know, the idea is, should they be something that you can earn later? So mm -hmm. from Lost Codex, Inspired Bernard slash Wildpost, why are PvP Elite sets a time-limited reward when no other armor or weapon in-game follows such a parameter? Elite PvP sets should be obtainable after their season, but still require the original Elite PvP rating to unlock at the time FOMO shouldn't exist in WoW. Basically, the idea is, if you earned it at the time, you should be able to, you know, get it later. Yes. Whatever, which, uh, you know, makes sense. Yeah. It's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's awkward because it's like for the FOMO of actually playing the game at the time is still there. Mm. Because you still need to have that rating from that period. But what if we have a what but, if for this? Oh dear. Let's go. What if we have a solution? A solution? I don't believe solutions exist. Blizzard certainly don't. What if Elite PvP gear had uh, basically a vicious saddle like system? Right? Yeah, of course. So uh, you've got the, you know, the, the vicious PvP mount that comes out with every season, in this case, mm -hmm. too. Uh, and, you know, you can earn a Vicious Saddle, and you can use that Vicious Saddle to, you know, buy an old mount. Like one of those really cool sabers, like the Night Elf uh, Vicious PvP mount saber. Really oh, cool yeah. looking. Um, or, of course, the Hippo. Right? So, you could just have a progress bar. Maybe a progress bar that you fill by winning arena matches above, say, 1800 rating. Once the bar is full, you get an appearance token that uh, can be redeemed at a vendor for any elite PvP set from previous seasons. Hmm. Um, now, you wouldn't have the full level of prestige that somebody back in the day got uh, because you wouldn't have the time limited feat of strength, but it would be a way for you to just go and unlock that. Hmm. So, yeah, there you go. Let's do that. There we go. Problem <laughs> solved. Yep, there you go. Oh, I'll have to fire another invoice yep. off. Invoice on in the post, boys. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to say maybe we're making the joke about sending them an invoice too much, but it's like, you know, if you, if you need to, you know, well, I, okay. I don't think Blizzard works like the government. I don't think they have surplus budget at the end of the year. They need to give out or they don't get as much budget next year. But if that's the case... If you need to argue for more money for your uh, general team and need to have the expenses, uh, John Height, uh, I'm sh sure you watch our stream all the time, just send us a boatload of money and uh, we'll continue to provide solutions. Thank you. Yeah. But, but yep. we'll have to deal with some dissenting opinion. Oh, no. Not that. Yep, from Yu-Gi-Oh himself. Blizzard's worst nightmare. There, it's Mr. Yu-Gi-Oh. Nice. Um, <laughs> And then, you know, Lost Codex also sort of floated the idea of, you know, imagine mm -hmm. if Mythic Tinted sets were only available in the patch they came out in. If you didn't get it when it was current, you didn't get it at all. That's the kind of mentality that keeps them being uh, time-locked. Uh, but, you know, the the pillars are, are sort of a bit different. Uh, so, you know, there's, there's thoughts on that. But to sort of skip to the dissenting opinion from Tettles, yeah. I unironically think they should do this with Mythic Raid tier sets. There's room for prestigious rewards like that in this game. Not everything has to be accessible all the time. And I seriously do not think there is something wrong with that. You see skins in League that are unobtainable and, like, sure, it sucks you weren't around whenever those were uh, purchasable. Same in other games. I think WoW in general has a pretty big lack of these. So this is where I actually think that uh, it's pro probably possible to make everyone happy here. Yep. All right, so... I would say that whenever they moved to the new Mythic format and they changed up how they did the sets, because it just used to be Mythic was another tent of the tier... Yeah, You know, sometimes it'd be the more, like, edgy, sort of badass, cool-looking tint, but that's how they would do it. From Warlords of Draenor onwards, they made it so that, honestly, I feel like it wasn't that Mythic looked extra cool. I kind of just felt like Normal and Heroic were downgraded compared to Mythic, in a way. Um, right? So, I would say... How would you do it? Like... There's still a way to have a prestige reward from the raid only. Maybe it doesn't yeah. have to be the tier set, or maybe there's a special tint of the mythic that you only get for completing mythic when it's sort of there and, you know, uh, the, the present thing. But uh, to, to be honest, I really do think that heroic... I think the heroic gear should actually have the same model and spell effects as the mythic one. Um, yeah. And here's the reason why. Because there's no longer any flexibility. 
Yeah. There's no there's no flexibility. I mean, it's not like there was in the past, of course, but um, here's a great example. So many people, and, you know, I think that raids are fun, more fun when it's like 10 players. Yeah, for sure. I, I vastly prefer that. Yep. Our guild is set up for generally between 10 and 12 people yep. in a raid team. So because this is a game about playing with your guild, playing with your friends, we will never be able to earn that mythic gear Yeah. without just doing a bunch of pugging and stuff like that because of how they changed that system. Yeah. Mythic to me almost feels like another bit of the game aside from the normal heroic progression mm. because it's such a big jump up. More importantly, it is a change in organizational structure. Yeah, it's and I think natural. that means that you know, have normal be what it is now, have heroic look like mythic, and have mythic be a new tint yeah. of the heroic set. Yeah, and that's that, yeah. honestly what I would say. Uh, and ultimately, like, how many people play the game that are you know doing mythic in a in a group of twenty? You can make more friends. I mean, yeah, but I think it's more fun when there's an intimate group of people. Yeah. Like, there's a big difference between hanging out with eight to ten of your friends versus a room full of 20 of them. Like, it's just a completely different experience. Yeah, socially. Which, yeah, it boils a little bit down to don't really want to do it all that much, and it's a very big change. It's not like a very natural go where it's like normal to heroic. There's difficulty difference, but no real difference. Mm -hmm. It's not like a different genre of content in a way, whereas Mythic feels like a different genre of content because of the sheer amount of preparation you, you need. And the sheer amount of you know the different players that you need i think it's just it's not quite a natural jump up it's super intentional to do it whereas even mythic plus is you know the same of just you just do myth you just do a higher mythic plus than usual there you go now with pvp it's like just be better and that's how you get the rating up like you could so do it so via yeah. a feat of strength that gives them a title like a special yeah. title for mythic yeah or a special mount tint or mythic and you could swap it over to a different tint if it's after mythic so you always know oh the person who got that cool red badass version is, is the mythic one yeah uh, this could be a way of basically still having the prestige rewards but overall expanding the uh, sort of rewards in the game yeah i mean i think that's that's the one thing with having the the really the best item of all for a small amount of players is you know just you're making a cool thing and locking it off too hard which just seems like, eh, if we're going to make it cool, at least give it to players. Mostly speaking, for like the better models. Yeah. I, I would have a different opinion if Mythic 10 existed, by the way. Oh, yeah. If yeah. Mythic 10 was a thing, uh, I think I'd change. Yeah, it's like, if yeah, if you'd... Well, that's the difficult point of them being different genres, where even if Mythic 10 existed, because of how Mythic is balanced, they, exactly. prob they probably couldn't say, well, you have Mythic 10 and Mythic 20. That would open a whole new kind of worms. And also they couldn't say, well, Mythic Flex, because that's never going to work. Yeah. Heroic Flex barely works half the time because of the breakpoints that people just go for. Um, they'll be getting better that, I think, but it's no longer a case of you bring 13 everywhere. But it's a case of if you could finish Heroic 10, if you could, you know, as an example, you could knock down Zoval uh, in three weeks' time. If you could knock him down in three weeks' time on Heroic, and then... You know, everyone's like, that was pretty fun. Fuck it. Do you want to just do Mythic? Because there's 10 of us. That would be like a super natural lead in. Yeah, that's what I used yeah. to do. Yeah. Right? Like, because this was in the days of, you know, the, the first bit of. Um, mm -hmm. You know, it's actually quite funny. <laughs> Basically, the first bit of uh, Miss of Pandaria. Mm -hmm. Well, first two. Where you know, there was loads of 10 player raids. So the natural thing to do is okay, let's do Gin Rock Heroic. Of course, remember, in those days, uh, Heroic is Mythic mm -hmm. because they changed all the naming uh, when they mm -hmm. moved into WAD. Uh, but we could just do that because, you know, it was a 10 person raid group. Okay, mm -hmm. flip the difficulty, difficulty level. Same 10 people go back in and do the hardest version of the raid. Yeah. You could just do that. Uh, it's just not like that anymore. So, yeah, I, I think maybe some thoughts need to uh, need to be done there, basically. 